All right. My uh, cam and all here should be synced up. This is Hashtag Drive. We're playing this Nintendo Switch version. It is also available on mobile. I think the uh, progress uh, things for the two games might be a little different because this one's paid. It was like, I think, 13 bucks? Whereas I feel like the mobile one is maybe cheaper. There might be like a pass thing. I didn't look into it as much as I probably should have. But anyway. Um, yeah, let's try it. See, y'all got us a little loud. Let me turn that down for y'all. I think we're good. Did I add ducking to this? I did not. Um, I'm just going to turn it low and not worry about it. Usually I add ducking to the game audio, though. So apologies for that. I should be coming in over them, so I'll remember to fix that later. Um... Anyway, yeah, hashtag drive. So, I guess we'll do the tutorial first. I've already done it a few times. But, I'll show you the basic mechanics. Like I said, it's kind of an infant driver. You wiggle around, you pick stuff up. And then you collect currency to get new cars that have different performance rates. And just try to set high scores. It's, it's, it's a very good pick up and play thing. As mobile games tend to be. It still seems a little loud. Let me dial it back a little more here. All right, but yeah, you can also yeah, you have to refuel, manage damage, and as you will see, actually, I think they'll show me the repair thing too. There we go, repair. Yeah, there's cops. But to get the filled off of you, all you need is a donut. Or some other food stuff, because it actually changes what the donut is on, in the different realms. Eh, I didn't like it anyway. You can usually get away from the cops even without the donut, but that does save you a lot of trouble. Yeah, this plow does work against moving traffic as well, which is nice. There's actually objectives for a lot of the leveling up that involve popping a certain number of cars and whatnot. It's kind of nice, instead of a progress bar, it's like three tasks per level up, and then every few levels they'll give you a new car. Plus there's plenty of cars to buy with your caps. Uh, yeah, destructible environmental objects. Smaller ones don't do much damage. I think larger ones can. And then the main thing about connecting to the uh, game servers online is it keeps track of leaderboards and will actually like distribute um, other cars on the course to uh, try and surpass their records. So we'll drive the default. Uh, you can see I changed the color. Uh, we'll drive the starting town for uh, starters, as it were. To get an idea of a longer run. I, think so. I thought I sort of this changed my color. I don't know why it defaulted. Oh, maybe it defaulted because we did because uh, the tutorial. I can go and change the settings again anyway. But yeah, you can also drive through uh, fallen uh, vehicles to get a few extra caps. And you notice the other uh, players have different portraits. You can buy those for the uh, postcard uh, items. You get those for making it to new towns within a certain area. Like it'll say, welcome to a different town name as you're going along here. Every now and then. Watch 
shit. Oops, thought I still had the plow. Just ran out. Alright. Then we're like, as you can see, I've been playing a little bit. I got ten levels in the bag. So we're trying to... And the Collect 25 postcards, you can see I have 40 at the top there. That is from the start of the level objectives, not, you know, cumulatively. What's photo mode all about? Okay, oh, I see. You can just do it from where you are. The new eye off. I haven't played around with this that much. It's kind of cool. I don't know if you can do it while driving as well. Uh, I want to go back and... A, get my car to the right color. Clearly it reset to red for some reason. Might as well buy the other ones. I've never bothered. But yeah, you can also upgrade. I think every stat has five levels of uh, upgrade. And it, the plus and minus are the, like, the start and uh, select buttons on the Joy-Cons. It took me a second to realize that was what it was asking for. But let's beef this guy up as far as we can. We'll try some other cars too. I'll keep it black, even though I like it white. And, uh, oh yes, the coolness. Upgrade. It adds a little, uh, a little, some visual features, and I think it boosts your point output as well. But I don't play with it that much. But yeah, I'll try some other areas here. You also turn on the Zen mode. That's like no, no traffic, less to worry about. But I think there's also less to pick up on the way. But it's a nice way to like see the courses and whatnot. Maybe we'll try that for one of them. Yeah, things are a little slippier here in segments because of the snow, obviously. And traffic is on the left because Great Britain. And the donuts here are, I think that's meat? I'm not entirely sure. I'm not used to going particularly fast at all, so kind of throwing me off, but... Yeah, I didn't like it anyway. The plow definitely makes more sense in this setting, I'll say that much. There's other items you can get, too. There's, like, one that turns off all the traffic. Uh, what else have I got? Hello. There's one that, uh, slows you down. But I think that also slows down impact damage. <laughs> and there, that's what I was talking about, how you get, um postcards by getting to new areas. There's also a certain number of areas to get to in each um, realm you missed this to unlock them all. Have this. I think it's a matter of just distance overall. Oh, you have brakes, don't you? Yes. Oh yeah, but the, the brake heat uh, heats up after a bit. There's also drifting raises that bar. I don't know if that serves as a multiplier or what or for your overall score, but it looks cool when you do it properly. We are very clearly not. Watch it. And you get that little bonus uh, cap every time you actually get a full stack, so. This one's not the house. Yeah, I'm not actually used to something with it. It's acceleration and speed maxed out. And in each world, like, as you may have noticed, like, the donut pickups were closer to the street for this one. Those vary from area to area as well. Whoa, take it easy. I haven't seen any junkyard ones. That's where the item pickups are that are, uh, super quick. But, at, like, uh, in the Japanese area, when we go to it, you'll notice the gas stations are a lot shallower and right off the road. As are the, uh... Actually, it's kind of funny what they did for the donuts in that one. 
I think we've been to Yorkshire before. Fantastic. And we got some postcards. All right. That was close. We did it. Crash into a train. I haven't seen a train. All right, solid 10 second drill. I think you know, it's cumulative over the run. I don't have to do it in one stretch. I think grinding for 10 seconds in one stretch would be a bad time. If it's even possible. All right. I didn't realize we made it. 4,700. And I'm going to need a final sip after this, but we only have two more games, so that's good. But yeah, let's try a different ride here. We can try one of the vans I've got. And actually, let's get one of the vans, because I have a purple one. Let's see what that is in a little bit. We got this bug I haven't dri uh, driven yet. Well, it feels weird driving that around Japan. So, there, there's a couple bugs where, like, the color changes. Or it shows the color of a vehicle I haven't bought yet, but... I mean, obviously, I had to buy the purple one. So I'm glad we did that. But let's save our caps for more different stuff later. Alright, so... We've been to Germany. Oh, well, we haven't been to Germany on stream, but I've been to Germany. I love the music here. I love that all the vehicles are like 80s, uh, 70s, 80s themed too, with a few older ones. Oh, but yeah, donuts here, pretzels, of course. This may come in handy. Also, I think each area has its own different cop car varieties as well. Not that I've let them get close enough to look in most cases, but... I'd like to see some different items, but wow it is. But yeah, New Wave was a great choice. That's right, we gotta drift regardless, because that's the objective here. Drift doesn't behave quite like you'd expect it to. Instead of cutting you harder into a turn, it more straightens you out. Alright. So we got the, uh, give you more caps item. So we're getting more strings of them, and then missing all of them anyway. But I found shallow curves are the best place to drift. Usually there's less traffic though. That wasn't too bad. Gas it up. That was a close call. You also throw you can get kind of wiggly coming out of one if you not optimal, which is annoying, but... Alright. I got pretzel! Up yours! Alright, we definitely... I was about to say we definitely need repairs, and then I just totally missed my chance. So we're probably screwed. But I'm gonna destroy some oncoming traffic. Because who doesn't like doing a little crime? I don't think we're getting the 10 second uh, drift here. Those bars don't break. Oh, we got the 10 seconds though. Fabulous. Alright. I don't know how, but we did. Um. So I need to figure out where there is a train to crash into, because I legitimately don't know. And right now I want to show off areas. And worst comes to worst, I can just make enough caps to buy another area. Or postcards, I should say. 
Uh, what else we got? Several vans. That's mostly what they've been giving me for the uh, prizes. Oh, let's go to the mini ones, because I know I've got some cute ones up here. These are all a lot slower, but definitely more maneuverable. We haven't really done much with the Tuk Tuk, so... Oh, I'm sorry, the Tok Tok 79. Uh, can I upgrade them all? Yes, actually. Fantastic. Although, again, we're trying to save money. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah, the caps are just for cars, so... Oh. I thought I already had that coolness upgrade, but okay. I know I looked through all of them at some point. Uh, let's try Zen mode. I'm not sure what Pro Cam is all about, but maybe I can manipulate the camera while we're driving that way. <laughs> some good times. So there is traffic in Zen mode, but there, there's no caps. Also, there's these little robots. There's a car you unlock by hitting 100 of them. And we're getting caps for hitting them, so that's cool. I guess that means there's no cops either. And we're still getting a little bit of payout for... Well, it's not tracking payout for any of it. And there's... Oh, but there's no uh, damage. Okay. So yeah, I guess I guess you can't unlock any uh, postcards that way. But you, again, you can learn the courses, or take a tour, and I think the robots destroyed still count to the towards the uh, goal of getting a hundred to unlock the car for it. So what's this pro cam? I'm trying the right That's stick, and it's not doing anything. Okay, but you can enter photo mode. Take it easy now. I'm not seeing any difference in the camera, and I'm, now I'm worried. So let's just keep it regular. For now, I don't want to intimidate myself or any others. I like the little tails in the flag, uh... Things swirl. It's cute. Never been here before. So, like, even seeing the uh, coolness options in the garage, you don't really get the full effect until you see them in motion. But yeah, like I said, the gas stations here are a lot shallower, so you can kind of just sideswipe in. And the donuts are onigiri. If you're at all familiar with the American dub of Pokemon. That's that much funnier to you. Because especially in the first season, they are regularly eating on a gear nice And they decided to try and convince we'll American kids them. that those are donuts. Uh, yeah, about that. Oh. I think they even straight up called them jelly donuts oh, at one point. All right, we should be focusing on caps since that's part of the uh, objectives. I think with the smaller ones, you take uh, more damage, though. If you're driving sloppy like I am. Oops. Of course, repair right there. Make a couple of attempts. I want to at least get the caps goal here until we find a train. I don't think I ever crossed any train crossings in, um... Don't forget to hit the in the starting area, so maybe it's, it's just a level I haven't unlocked yet. I think there's some that unlock at 50, uh, postcards, so... Ideally, we'll be able to unlock someplace new. I think I have one other one besides Japan, but I, I could like be it. wrong. the trip button there to I'm not paying for that. help me out. Oh well, we got the cap count. Oh, 
I love this guy's coolness. Or no, I want to do something because... You know, I said you needed a hundred of those little robots to unlock something. I already unlocked it. Can't change the color on it, but yeah, you can drive on a little... I did upgrade it all the way, though. So we'll drive it without uh, the coolness on. Oh, great. Everything else costs a hundred. Well... Let's try and make some progress someplace where I don't have all the towns yet. Whee! I don't think I've ever gotten the snowplow attached to this thing yet, so that probably looks ridiculous. Oh, I should have looked at the uh, different dioramas to see if there was an indicator of where a train would be. I would expect the fuel economy on this to be good, at least. I thought we were at least going to take damage from that. I felt a scrape. No! Alright, well, I'm just jumping back real quick because the coolness option on this little guy. What if more mail? And they, I love that they do follow you with a little bit of delay, so they do a chain together. It doesn't just lock to your uh, initial guy's movements. They put a lot of care into the animations of this, and I appreciate that. I think the gas station pull-offs here are actually deeper than uh, the Dry Gulch ones, or whatever it was called. The Desert American Area. Alright. Item boys! Okay, it's just a, it is a, just literally a smaller snowplow. I was hoping it would be like a full-sized one, but that's still good. Actually, the fuel economy on this kind of sucks, but I guess it's because it's so tiny they can only fit so much on board. Saw how low we were at just that first refuel. All out. All right, we caught it with our butt. Let's caught that with our face. Oh! I didn't know you could lose, little dudes! Or maybe it's with a certain percentage of damage. Either way, I'm saddened! Oh. Got too squirrely. Alright, I'm gonna... I, I know we keep changing cars, but I want to show off as much as we can as quickly as possible, because... It does get a little repetitive, but if you're just trying to kill some time, it's pretty nice. This guy, I like this guy. What if submarine? And actually, I believe if you want, you can get a Eden Yellow, because why not? But we're not doing that. I guess these are effectively achievements under the locations thing. Alright, is there a train in any of these? It seems obvious. Not really. I kind of want to unlock Mars before we wrap, so. More postcards, please. I like the three-way spray. I think it's because uh, this thing has three tires, but... Fill 
Okay, the Ger the German um, gas stations are definitely a deeper arch. Interesting. Auto garage. I didn't like it anyway. Needed that, but we're gonna grab it in here. Whoa. About to run out. Okay. Play it safe. Pretzels on the race. I also want to see. So actually, I would love to see what the Martian food option is. Even if it's just like a space donut, that'd be kind of funny. That was scary. Okay, this is the learner's permit thing I was talking about. You give the little tag and go slower. I think that might have saved me from impacts, too. I think it also keeps cops from appearing. But yeah, that definitely saved me from the momentum. That rear end should have uh, obliterated me. That's cool. Now oh, I know that would know better what that does. Oh. Alright, well we found where the trains are. It's just a matter of stopping on the tracks. That was close. Well, that's something in So I guess keep an eye out. I don't know how we survive that. My butt. All right. Well, now we know where the trains are. It's this cor this course. So we'll keep uh, pushing this. To like get the train or get a hundo. Hmm. Nice place. Some of the other courses might have them too, but I'd rather stick to what we know here. This may come in handy. You can also uh, enable touchscreen controls if that's what you prefer, because I think that's what the mobile version had original, uh, originally. Well, I guess it would have to, because... You don't usually have joysticks on a gamepad or a touchscreen mobile device by default. No, oh, not slow enough. Where you go? Okay, so we gotta we gotta slow up, slow up with some lead time. Don't forget to hit the next and then we should get trained. Alternatively, I could go with a proper mini vehicle and. <laughs> that I haven't upgraded. <laughs> oh, sorry. What? My kingdom for a stream deck and a mute button. Low on gas, so we might not even make it to a train. Ah! Damn it. I didn't see the heads up on that, so. I guess you're gonna learn what happens when you run out of fuel. This one. Alright. Maybe we won't hang out till Mars because yeah, we only get like two um postcards a trip here, so maybe I'll just call it once we get like I think we're we're gonna keep going for the train for a bit. If I can get a level up out of the night, that's you know a pretty good showcase of what's going on here. I thought I unlocked some levels ahead of time, at least. And they're still adding content, too, like new cars. Uh, I think new stages are on the way. 
I feel like somebody asked in the uh, Fest Discord about um, about courses, and they mentioned something about events. So I think they let the event stages stay once they're in there. That's probably where some of these came from. I'm starting to think maybe the um, junkyard items are actually a set sequence and not. Although we've gotten the cap one without the learner's permit one, it's the second one, I think, at least once. So maybe it's per vehicle, I don't know. Plow always seems to happen first, though. The sub ideal bounce. Oh, too early. Don't forget to hit the next one. Hmm, nice place. That was close. Oh, she picked up that repair and even register it. That was close. But now it's plow again. All right, yeah. Maybe, maybe the uh, the random is just playing out similarly every time for me thus far. I don't know. I just Watch work it. here, man. I'm not too worried about. Oh, so close. It's not easy to hit a train. Now, let me try it with something slower. We'll give it one more attempt, and if I can't get the train, we'll call it for the night. I'll just do it on my own time. These are my two with the lowest speed. I like that this one's coolness is just, oh, uh, yeah, we added a fourth wheel. This one is like, we didn't add a fourth wheel. Take it easy. That's a tight fit. That's the boys! Sometimes the uh, little quotes aren't as relevant as they intend to be. But for the most part, you get a heads up when you actually need fuel. Whoa. Grab the next. Got it! We did it! Train boys! I love how that kind of parallels last night's accelerated adventures. Alright, 10 dis uh, destructions, boogie. And lo that's just losing the cop. You lose the chase five times is beating the cops without a donut. Which isn't too hard to do, honestly. But yeah, uh, I think we'll hold off. You have seen hashtag drive. I like it. Again, don't have Steam Link because it's only Switch and mobile to my knowledge as of right now. But I would say it's worth it. All right, I'm going to go grab another beverage and switch back to PC for the last two games of the night. We got Phase Shift, we got Electro, or Electro Ride, and then I can sleep. But this has definitely gone less long than the past couple. I actually got to go out. It worked out that way. I say that now, and then we're going to spend forever on the next two games, but let's finish out the fest.